Welcome everyone, my name is Vanessa. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're just stumbling on this video, welcome. And I hope you're all having a great time, a great weekend. I'm shooting this on Sunday. So hopefully it's a weekend for you too if I edit this in time, which probably won't happen. But you know, today we won't talk about books, which is weird, but um, yes so i thought that you know the initial thought about this channel was to create something that i love so just to upload things that i enjoy and things that i want to share with the world with you beautiful people and anyone else that might be interested in these things as well which i think this is what this platform is made for and today we're going to talk about beauty <laughs> So it was one of the things that I probably love the most is makeup and beauty and things that you can do with it and just being creative with, it, with these little hands. So today I thought, you know, I'll just talk about something to introduce this part of my channel, which is ho hopefully going to be one, two videos a week, one about books, one about beauty or anything that happens in my life, which is not really much at the moment, but hopefully it will be soon. Um, so I thought as my first video, I will do something that is slightly going towards the festive period. But if you know me personally, you will know that I am in love with red lipstick. So I am a collector of lipsticks. I think it might be nice and a great time of the year just to share the ones that I enjoy the most and my favorites in my collection. And yes, one thing that you have to know about me is that I'm very peculiar about my lipsticks. I do not have the biggest of the lips, so I usually overline them a little bit. Uh, we won't use pencil today because it, it would literally take ages. I have 21 lipsticks to review today. <laughs> Ah, and I think I'm missing a couple that I just couldn't find. I think they're just in some of my handbags, but okay. So I will not overline them and I will probably just wipe them off with some oil, which is going to be so hard, but we will do our best. There's going to be some of them that are probably expired, but I don't care. I know it's bad, but I also know that some of these lipsticks are so expensive and they're all connected to a beautiful memory that I have from, the, uh, the mo from a specific moment of my life, for an event that I got them from, for a, I don't know, the town that I got them from. So I don't really want to throw them away until they smell bad and until I know that they're going to do harm to my skin. And I'm not saying that you have to do it. I'm just saying that I will do it just because I am attached to these lipsticks like they were my children. Let's dive in into the section of the glossy balms and oils as well. There's a mixture of high-end and drugstore in these, uh, but I will go through the glosses first because they're very easy to take off. So my first one is going to be this Fenty Cream Lipstick in... Fruit Snacks, <laughs> that's the name, uh, yes. So this is a red, but I would say that it's like a dark red, um, more towards like a burgundy with some brown in it. And it, y y I think you know about this formula. So it's a glossy, but very dense, very kind of thick. This is what the applicator looks like. Let's just crack on. It's gorgeous. It is very comfortable. It won't stay in your lip for a long time though, because it's very glossy and it just slips around a bit. I just feel like I just, I wear this one when I want to be just easy. I just wear something like that and just take it off. And also I'm going to show you how I wear it sometimes. So I just take it off uh, a little bit. And just dab my lips so it's just a little wash of color uh, which is gorgeous very easy to wear and you can just top it off without a lip pencil at all so yeah hopefully 
There we go, so this is the Fenty one. The second gloss I have, it's this one. So it's by Kiko. And it's, so this is very affordable. This is probably five pounds and it's a very, very good gloss, I would say. Um, I bought it because I wanted something glossy, but still a bit shiny with a bit of glitters in there. So if you don't like glitters, I'd say stay away from this. So this is number, um, oh God, story I've had. Outside it's raining and it has so many ring lights in this room, <laughs> it's insane. This is number 16 and let's try it on. This is just a normal dofer. It's just, just, I mean, it's a bit cheaper, but you know, that's what you get. There we go. So this one is a bit more sheer and it's more on the, I wouldn't say pinky, but it's like pinky rusty color uh with all these rings likes that i have around me they all look a bit lighter than what they actually are um but still you can see uh that it has loads of tiny little shimmers in here and i feel like this is perfect for the same reason as the other one so you just crack it on but yes these are my go-to um glossy red lip which is something that i don't usually gravitate towards because it's not really my favorite glossy color um but i had some great bombs in there as well which i think you will enjoy and it's them the dual lip glows these are beautiful these are 100 percent worth the hype and i do not care what anyone says i know they're expensive but these are the most beautiful things you could ever wear on your lips they just feel so luxurious the packaging is beautiful they sit so nicely on the lips and they will stay there for such a long time for a balm and i have probably four colors of these i have this one that is number eight which is more of a rough i think it was called on a website brick red and it was just a website exclusive and they change slightly color with your ph level so they always leave a stain behind so so this is very much like a brick, rusty color. It is so comfortable. It smells like, mm, a bit like mint. And it, it just wears on your lips so nicely. I just cannot, honestly, if you want to treat yourself, please go for these. I mean, I love all the products in here, but I feel like these ones. The second one, it's uh, a special for this Christmas. So it's number 35, it was the, the burgundy color. They had it on the website at the beginning and then they uh, moved it to the stores as well. I got this in Harrods and it is the most gorgeous burgundy deep red that you will ever wear. And it's just stunning. As I said, as the other one, it just wears so nicely. And this is probably my favorite one of the bunch. The other two gloss and balmy textures that I have are two from Glossier. Uh, the first one is just a classic cherry uh, balm.com. Is it called? There we go, yes. And it's just, a, it's just a lip balm, but it has this little tint to it that is absolutely gorgeous. And it smells amazing if you like cherries. And the second one is one of the uh, Hydrating Shannon Color. I don't think I have the right name, but it's one of the lip lipsticks from Glossier. And it's the shiny ones. This is darker. This is way darker. As you can see, it's not this dark, but it's darker than a normal red. But it leaves such a gorgeous color to it. I read online that it's probably going to be one of the dupes for the Clinique Black Honey. Uh, it's not ready to be honest because I have both and I feel like this is darker and it, it nicer in my opinion. You can see it's just a wash of color but it's so nice and it smells so great and this is like six pounds and it lasts for ages because literally I took the tiniest amount and look how stained my hands are. It's just so nice. And this is the lipstick. This is it. So this is the lipstick. As you can see, it's darker, 
but it's a beautiful dark red burgundy and now we have no more lipstick like lipstick bullet lipsticks and i have quite a variety of brands in here uh, let's start with my two favorite from charlotte tilbury i love the matte revolution formula from charlotte tilbury i think it's very it's a very wearable matte it's very easy to put on just every day and it doesn't dry out your lips and i have walk up no shame and it looks like this in the palette so it's a red but it's more of a pinky red and it's gorgeous like they usually call it online an indian red it's absolutely beautiful and then we have red carpet red which is just a normal blue toned red let's start with walk of no shame I think it comes up a bit more orangey with these lights, but it's it's absolutely amazing. It just feels like a silky balm on the lips. Would really highly recommend this one if you're a newbie with red lipsticks and probably you just want something that is low maintenance or something that doesn't really strike you as a blue tone intense red lipstick. This is red carpet red. This is stunning. This is just a classic blue toned deep red lipstick. And this is actually going to last a lot on your skin and probably sting your lips a little bit. So if you drink, you're going to be fine. I want to go into some singles that I have from different brands. My first one is a Dior lipstick, one of the classic Dior red ones. This is in the color 743. And this is one of the oldest lipsticks I own because it's just so beautiful. I'm scared of using it. This is just, just a classic red lip with a little bit of orange in this one though. And yeah, let's try it on. There is something about high-end lipsticks that I just cannot describe it on camera I, th I feel like you have to try it on your skin for you the most stunning negroni sbagliato anything you want from a lipstick it's just so comfortable and the way it shines on your lips i didn't even use lip liner but it just went on and glide on this is like a satin matte i would say because it's not matte but it's not even shiny it's not glossy it's just something in between and it is worth every single cent you would pay for this and it will last you a really long time let's just do it the next standalone i have it's from essay lauder and it's one of these creamy lipsticks they have that i actually got it uh just because i was going to work and i was required to wear a red lipstick at work a couple probably like two years ago or so and i forgot mine at home uh but i found this one it's the number 520 carnal i got this in boots um and it's orangey it's more the orangey side and this is going to be very bright in camera but i it's so beautiful especially if you're wearing all black it just, it's stunning. And I feel like the smell is really amazing. On camera, this one looks almost neon. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. Um, it's more orange than the other ones, but I think with something like this, wearing all black, it looks absolutely stunning. And the formula, it's so creamy. It just makes your lip so comfortable i love it my next one is going to be the um it's a kiko lipstick one of the bullet ones they have it's the gossamer emotion 113 so it's 113 this is what it looks like it's a i would say true red it's not too blue it's not too orange and it's very comfortable as well on the lips it's just it's just something that I think it's just easy to wear if you're something if you want something red, intense, and glossy. Um, 
and I would highly recommend it because I feel like Kiko has such a huge line of these lipsticks and I will probably go through maybe my favorites if you want in another video and they're all super uh, super cheap sorry uh, they're all around four or five pounds and they have a pay to buy three uh, promotion usually in these ones so yeah highly recommend You know what really bothers me is that this lipstick looks so beautiful and so intense and it's actually really close to the Dior that I tried before. Not really what it feels like on the lips because I feel like this one is a bit thicker uh, but the colour is just insane. My last three lipsticks that are probably at the top of my favourite lipstick of all, of all time because what they look like and what, how they perform are the Liza Eldridge lipsticks. These are three of the reds, my favorite reds. And I think we can try them all on and see uh, what they look like. The Cinnabar, which is, a, as the name suggests, is more of a rusty, chilly sort of red. I will start with this one because it's the easiest probably to take off and layer with the other ones. Uh This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, rusty color. And it, these lipsticks are so intense and so pigmented that it's actually scary putting them on because the first wipe you do, it's just a shower of pigment and it will not leave your lips until you take it off. The second one is Velvet Ribbon. This one is broken, unfortunately, because I, I've had this for a year or so, my most worn red lipstick. It is absolutely gorgeous, but yeah, it just broke inside. Um, nothing wrong with it, nothing wrong with the brand, it's just, it did break. <laughs> this is my favorite and most worn, as I said, blue toned lipstick. It makes your teeth so clear. It's gorgeous. There's nothing as beautiful as this one. I've tried many of these because um, I'm always looking for the perfect red lip and I feel like nothing compares to this one. Apart from probably another one that I will try later on, but it's still not as bright as this one. My last Liza Eldridge lipstick is the Velvet Jazz and it's slightly more Albany, I'd say, a bit more burgundy, still the same texture, same formula. I think this one is the perfect amount of red and a perfect amount of, you know, deep red colour that will bring out your eyes if you have light eyes like me. Just look how the green in my eyes is just popping with this, it's just stunning. And this is my second favorite from her. And I don't know, I don't know what to say. These are probably my favorite formula in here, uh, especially in, you know, matte lipsticks. These are completely matte, but they feel like cream, very intense cream. They're absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, so these are my favorite bullet lipsticks. I will take this off, do something with my lips to make, me feel, to make them feel alive again. And then I carry on with a liquid lipstick. I will start with a, more moussey kind of texture and this is still a slightly darker color than a normal red but it's the rare beauty lip cream in transform and this is just a pleasure to work with the dofa is just normal dofa it's this moussey texture that is just so nice on your um, on your lips it wears very well you can create this sort of like blurry effect so it's very foolproof if you want but you can also build it up as much as you want for like a, a full coverage lipstick with a lip liner as well absolutely amazing and this is a sort of burgundy wine color that i still want to put in my reds because it can be sheared out to a normal red You can see it's more moussey texture wise it feels a bit more silicony on the lips but it's still gorgeous now we're gonna go into my favorite liquid lip so the classic matte liquid lip that it's really hard to take off 
but it's also sometimes hard to put on because of that because you need a lip liner some of them need a lip liner some others i probably would wear it even without but they look absolutely gorgeous these are the most luxurious finishes and looks that i might wear just you know night out or when i really want to feel bougie <laughs> the first one it's a ysl liquid lip and this is in the color number so it's either six or nine i'm really sorry but... okay i think it's nine i think it's nine but it's the tatouage couture of max satin and this has a very interesting doe foot it's like that so it's very easy to go around the corners and this one became a sort of a trendy product a couple years ago but i uh, it's very liquidy so you have to shake it first but i wrote it about a bit late and this is a bit more of a rusty sort of red and it sort of stains your lips so even if you drink or eat this will stay and this is this will say it, it's very weird because it's a liquid lipstick but it stains it's the way it just grips onto your lips and this will take a while to take off but i think it's gorgeous it will become much more matte when it dries down but it's i don't know what there is just this like daytime wearable rusty color it doesn't look too good if you have slightly more yellow teeth uh which i do it's starting to dry down now and it's just skin like you just cannot feel it this nars lipstick this is one of the nars uh paramount lip pigments it's in star woman it's my favorite lipstick from 2022 this is my favorite most worn lipstick this year i feel like the next ones that i'm going to talk about now they're probably up there if not more than this one but I haven't used them that often, so I feel like I just, I put this one to the test quite well and it's almost 70 for that reason. I got this in one of my favorite cities in the world uh, with a dear friend of mine and it's got a beautiful story to it. I don't know, I just feel like I attach my lipsticks to beautiful memories and when I wear them, I just relive them again. Um, and it, this one is so pigmented, as the name says, it's pure pigment. Um, so you have to be very careful. I stained my carpet with this and it won't come off. It has a very interesting doe foot. It's pointy like this. Very easy to go around the lips. It's super liquidy, so do not pour it, but it will dry down immediately and you'll see what I'm talking about. This is just a true red. There's nothing to it. It's not too blue. It's not too orange. It's just pure red pigment. And it just wears so beautifully. It makes your teeth look so white. And just look how it dries down. It's just so beautiful. And it's so comfortable. You can't even feed it. And as you saw, just one swipe, it did more than literally my whole lips it's it's just insane and even now it's completely dried down i mean you can see i'll see something yeah it's going away now absolutely nothing my last two lipsticks are actually i uh, my as i said my latest addiction to the collection and my next beauty video. So I went on um, the Pat McGrath website and they had for the Black Friday something like from 40 to 60% off, which is insane. A brand like that never does it. It's so expensive, but it's probably uh, the most luxurious and best performing makeup I've ever tried in my whole life. I bought an entire full face of makeup for it. So it's going to be my next video. Hopefully it will be great, but I'm sure it will because I still haven't tried some of the things. I just tried these two lipsticks and they are these liquid lipsticks and they are called Liquid Lust. Um, I have the shade Flesh number no. 3 and Elson 4. This is a very interesting formula because it dries down 
and it's still a bit creamy it still stays a bit moussey but it's still not completely transfer proof like the nars that i showed you the nars one is beautiful but i feel like in on the inside you can still see a, a clear separation this one has something that just creates the most beautiful lip that will not budge and even if it does budge you just press your lips together and the creaminess that left to it will just cover that line inside which is something that i found that happens when you have smaller lips um i will wear the flesh three first this is flesh number three it's a gorgeous deep brownie red and it's just the most comfortable thing I've ever worn. It's so nice. I wouldn't be able to actually tell you, of course, in the video, how luxurious these products feel until you will try. Right, so we arrived to the last lipstick. I cannot believe that I still have lips on. Um, but yeah, they're still here. I'm still, I'm still fine. And this is going to be my outfit for just a little disclaimer as a, we go towards the end of the video. Let me know if you have any other lipsticks that you think I might enjoy or if you want any other suggestions, just leave a comment down below and I will definitely reply to it. For now, let's try this on and see what my ultimate 2022 red lipstick looks like. This is Elson 4, and as you can see, love at first sight. If you want something like um, a bit more impactful and you want to create a very intense red look, I would probably pair it up with a brown lip liner or a very dark red lip liner and just create a sort of shadow around it. Beautiful. We'll just let it dry for a second and then we'll see um, what it looks like. But these were my favorite red lipsticks uh, from, I would say, my updated collection from 2022. Now we're probably doing 2023 again, but I will let you know which ones will I will come across in my collection and maybe there's something else that I will like a little bit more. That is my final look for today. I'm just going to see some Christmas markets. So let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. And I will probably go a bit deeper into, you know, new beauty releases and stuff like that because I really care about it as well as part of me and this is what I want this channel. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment down below, subscribe if you like this content and I will see you soon.